This week, we are going to crack the code to English fluency. I am going to give you nine tips that will transform your English today. Are you ready? Well then, I'm teacher Tiffany. Let's jump right in. Here's tip number one. Tip number one is read a short news article and summarize. Listen very closely. Read a short news article in English and summarize it in writing. This will improve reading comprehension and writing skills. The key is to summarize what you have read. Let me explain why this is the first insider tip to improve your English fluency. Reason number one, why this is so important. It exposes you to various vocabulary, sentence structures, and writing styles. Your brain, my friend, is absolutely amazing. So as you're taking information in, as you're reading these articles, you're actually seeing various patterns. You're seeing sentence structures. You're seeing new words used in context, which will affect your ability to speak English fluently. The second reason why this tip is so important is it enhances your understanding of how information is organized and conveyed in written English. When you improve your reading skills, you actually will end up improving your speaking skills. Now we'll talk about confidence. Don't worry. I believe in you, right? But again, this will enhance your understanding of how information is organized. When you're learning another language, it's important for you to learn how people who speak that language actually think. How do they organize their thoughts? That's why I talk about the five W's all the time. Who, what, when, where, and why. In the last lesson, if you didn't see it, please go watch it after this lesson. I talked about the simple rule of threes, reasons, explanations, or examples, and also giving your ideas in a clear way using the simple rule of threes, right? This is important for you as you're reading following this tip. The third reason is it helps develop your ability to extract key information and summarize it effectively. Your goal is to speak English fluently, right? You want to sound like a native English speaker. My friend, I believe in you. I know you're smart enough. In order to achieve this goal though, you must understand how to pick out the key pieces of information. Because English fluency is not just about talking for long periods of time. No, it's about getting the key pieces of information and presenting them clearly, which is why I teach you English. My goal this year is to help you achieve your English goals. So it's important for you to be able to pick out the key information. Now, don't forget, you can practice what you're learning. All you have to do is download the English with Tiffany app. It's free. The link is in the description but I want you to be able to organize your thoughts by seeing how other native English speakers actually organize their thoughts. So tip number two to crack the code of English fluency is listen to a podcast or watch a video. These tips seem so simple, but sometimes the simplest things have the greatest results. Once again, the five W's, the simple rule of threes. These things that I'm teaching you, they're simple, but when you put them into practice, ooh -wee, your English will change. So listen to this. Listen to a podcast episode or watch a YouTube video in English. Here's the key on a topic of interest, something you actually care about. Take notes on key points and vocabulary. We're going back to what we talked about in tip number one. You need to be able to grab the key pieces of information. This will help you be able to speak English fluently. Remember, we're cracking the code to English fluency, being able to clearly express your ideas, your thoughts, and your opinions. So here are three reasons why this tip is so important. Reason number one. It improves your listening comprehension when you're listening to podcasts or listening as you watch a video. It improves your listening comprehension skills by exposing you to different accents. 
speech patterns and vocabulary used in real life conversations. In a class I taught just yesterday for my academy students, one of my students said, Tiff, I remember when I first joined your academy, I wasn't able to understand people using different accents, but now it doesn't matter where a person is from, which part of the United States or which part of the world I can understand them. Why? Because they've listened to so many conversations I have in my academy, natural and real conversations where people have different accents and they've spoken to other English learners who have different accents. The more you listen, the more your listening skills will improve and this will affect your English fluency. Secondly, it helps you develop the ability to identify and understand specific information such as main ideas, supporting details or opinions expressed. Listen, think about a child because right now I know you're wondering, Tiff, I'm enjoying the lesson, but I just don't see how me listening to something or reading something is going to affect my speaking ability. Remember, I'm talking about getting the key pieces of information. You're literally with these first two tips, training your brain to get the most important point. It's like a child. When a child first learns how to speak a language, whether it be your language or English, right? Kids in America, right? My nieces, right? When they were little, your children or your nieces, your nephews, children are listening before they can speak properly, picking out key pieces of information. So when they formulate their first sentences, they know, Hey, let me put the key information. I don't just want to say, and the it, no, I want to say, I want the cup, right? They pick out the most important pieces of information. This is what you're training your brain to do. The third reason taking notes as you're listening to a podcast or watching a video encourages active listening and reinforces vocabulary acquisition. As you're listening, if you're taking notes, you're telling your brain, Hey, these are the words. This is the information that is important. I want to retain these words. I want to keep these pieces of information so that I can use them later. We're talking about cracking the code to English fluency. Here's tip number three. I want you to pay attention to tip number three, find an English language TV show. Now pay attention very closely, find an English language TV show, movie, or series and watch one episode with English subtitles focus on understanding the dialogue and try to pick up new expressions. Notice I said an English language TV show, not a TV show that has English subtitles, but they're speaking in another language. No, you need to find a TV show. Again, you're learning American English, right? Find an American TV show. Watch it. Turn the subtitles in English on. It's totally okay. Try to figure out what they're talking about read their facial expressions, watch their body language as they're saying certain things, try to grasp as they're speaking new concepts, new patterns, new structures, new expressions. This is all part of speaking English fluently. Why is this important? This tip first reason, here's why this is so important. It familiarizes you with colloquial language slang and idiomatic expressions commonly used in everyday conversations. The way I'm speaking to you right now, I know I'm speaking clearly. You can understand me, but I don't speak like this when I'm speaking to my friends, I speak clearly, but I use different words. Why? Because we're American. I can be more comfortable as far as the way that I'm speaking. I'm in teacher mode right now, right? And I'm happy to teach you. When I switch it though, I don't want you to be confused, which is exactly why I give you story time at the end. Now during story time, I'm completely natural and I use idiomatic expressions. I use colloquial terms. Why? Because I want you, my friend to understand and be able to use them in the future. That's why this tip is so important. Here's the second reason. It improves your listening skills by training your ear to recognize spoken words and phrases in context. We're talking about cracking the code to English fluency. You can do it. I believe in you. It's just about knowing the tips and tricks that will work. 
Here's the third reason. It improves, excuse me, it provides visual and contextual cues that aid in understanding, allowing you to bridge the gap between written and spoken English. Remember earlier I said, watch their facial expressions, watch their body language, see how they're actually moving as they're speaking. These things will help you adapt and actually start using what native English speakers are using in those television programs. All right helping you crack the code to English fluency. Here's tip number four, write a diary entry, write a diary entry in English, describing your day or expressing your thoughts. This helps improve writing fluency term. I like to use writing fluency and self expression. All right. When you write your thoughts down, you're actually helping yourself be able to formulate your ideas, which will affect your English fluency. Here's the first reason why this is so important. Reason number one, it promotes regular writing practice, allowing you to experiment with vocabulary and sentence structures in a safe environment. It's your notebook. Listen, you see all these notebooks behind me. If you're watching the YouTube video, I have tons of notebooks because your teacher also writes down many things throughout the day. It helps you process your thoughts right in an English diary. Reason number two, it helps you express yourself more fluently and coherently as you learn to articulate your thoughts in written form. Listen, it's going to make you a better English speaker. Why? Because as you're writing, you're practicing, organizing your thoughts, formulating your ideas, getting a clear way to express your opinions. And third, the third reason is it develops your writing fluency. I told you earlier, writing fluency by building confidence and encouraging you, my friend, to think in English. We're talking about cracking the code to English fluency. So far, these four tips, you can do each of them. Even if you're studying on your own, this is why I create these YouTube videos, these lessons, and this podcast for the audio listeners, because I want to encourage you. You can do it. Even if you're by yourself right now in your country, you can follow these tips and crack the code to English fluency. Here's tip number five, learn five new English words or phrases. Again, learn five new English words or phrases. When you do this, write them down, create example sentences and try to use them. Here's the key. Try to use them in conversations throughout the day. The same day you learn a new word, the same day you learn a new expression, try to use that word or that expression throughout the day. Why is this so important? Why does this work? Reason number one, it expands your vocabulary, enabling you to express yourself more precisely and effectively. Put it to use. Don't worry about making mistakes. You hear me say it all the time in my academy students, students hear me say it all the time. Don't worry about mistakes. Just try. That's all you got to do. Reason number two, it improves your ability to understand and use idiomatic expressions. The more you try, you're learning five new words or expressions one day, and then you're putting them into practice on that day, applying them to your actual life. And reason number three, it reinforces learning through active usage, helping you internalize new words and phrases. For example, one word that literally every English learner, every student, every member of our family in the speak English with Tiffany Academy, they know how to use this word. The word is elated. And if you're my student, I know you're shaking your head right now. Yes, Tiff, I know how to use that word. The word is elated. It means extremely happy. Why? They keep using the word on a regular basis. After they learned it, they use it in practical situations, real life conversations, and now it's really a part of their vocabulary database. So the students in my program, they know how to use the word elated because they put it into use. Tip number six, 
watch a TED talk or a speech. Now, watch a TED talk or a speech in English and take notes on the main ideas presented. Summarize the talk in your own words. Giving a speech and having a conversation, these are two different things. When a person is giving a speech, it's similar to what I'm doing right now. I'm presenting information. No one is really responding to me, even though I know you're talking back to me, right? Come on now, I know you are, right? But this is why this is so important. This tip is truly important. Reason number one, it enhances listening and note-taking skills. Helping you identify once again, important details and distinguish main ideas from supporting information. The more you build this muscle, this muscle you have to recognize the main idea and recognize supporting information, the easier it will be for you to do the same when you're speaking English. In other words, cracking the code to English fluency. Here's the second reason. It improves your ability to condense information and express it fluently and accurately. People who give Ted talks, when someone gives a speech, they have to condense a very large topic into easily digestible points. I'm teaching you about English. English is a very expansive language, tons of words but I'm able to teach you something that you can take back to your home, to your friends, to your family, and you can start using why I'm giving you key points and supporting information. You'll learn how to do this the more you watch others do it. And reason number three, it exposes you to a wide range of topics and speakers, expanding your knowledge and vocabulary. You're cracking the code to English fluency. The more you listen, the more you listen to, the more you watch English speakers, the more you'll start to emulate them or copy them. Like hopefully you're copying me as well. Tip number seven to cracking the code, follow English speaking social media accounts. Woo. Listen very closely. Follow English speaking social media accounts, not of English teachers. Keep following my channel. Don't worry. Keep following me. Yes. <laughs> But follow other Instagram or TikTok channels with just native English speakers. They don't have to be teachers. You want the accounts to be related to your interests and engage with their content. If you like cooking, if you like photography, if you like art, if you like travel, find these Instagram channels or TikTok channels related to those interests. Follow them and comment in English. Don't be afraid. It's okay to make mistakes. Don't worry, but you need to interact with these channels, comment, ask questions and participate in discussions in English. This is all about building your confidence. The more you interact, the more you participate, the more you'll realize how intelligent you really are. We're talking about cracking the code to your English fluency. Here are the reasons. Reason number one, it exposes you to authentic English used in informal everyday context. How do native English speakers text? How do native English speakers talk online? Well, the only way you'll know is if you actually jump, let's jump right into the conversations and start participating next. It improves reading skills as you navigate through writing styles and engage with diverse content. We're using these different tips, these different methods to help you speak English fluently. The third reason it encourages active participation and provides opportunities to practice expressing your opinions and joining conversations in English. You're giving your brain an opportunity to kick out what's already inside. All right. Tip number eight. I want you to remember this tip. Tip number eight, learn an English tongue twister or riddle. You got me right. Learn an English tongue twister or riddle and practice saying it out loud multiple times to improve pronunciation and fluency. 
The more you practice, again, it's like going to the gym and lifting dumbbells, right? Getting stronger, right? Now you're giving your tongue the opportunity to improve its ability. Here are three reasons why this is so important, all right? Reason number one, it will help you fine tune your pronunciation skills because riddles often contain challenging sounds and phonetic patterns. Reason number two, it provides practice in enunciating words accurately and speaking clearly, leading to improved clarity in speech. I hear all the time, Tiffany, it's so easy to understand you. I know how to pronounce my words clearly and enunciate. The more you practice with these riddles, the more you'll be able to enunciate and pronounce words properly and clearly. And here's the third reason why this tip is so important. It will require you to speak quickly and smoothly, which will train you to develop a natural and fluent speech rhythm. There are moments during my lessons where I have to speak very quickly, but because I'm speaking very clearly, you can still understand me, right? You want to develop the same exact skill. Tip number nine, record a short message, a voice message in English. Introducing yourself or sharing a small story. This is a key aspect to helping you crack the code to English fluency. Listen to your voice message and take notes. Make note of areas where you can improve pronunciation or clarity. You don't realize how important you are to your English journey. You actually know so much more than you realize. So when you record yourself and listen to it again, you'll recognize where the errors are. You'll recognize the things you need to improve. Take notes. Why is this so important? Reason number one, it will allow you to objectively evaluate your pronunciation and identify areas for improvement you'll be able to see where you need to improve. Reason number two, it will help you identify and work on specific sounds or words that may be causing difficulty for others in understanding your speech. You'll hear what they hear and be able to improve yourself. And reason number three, it will help you see your improvements which will boost your confidence in speaking English and encourage further practice and self-correction. As you continue doing this, cracking the code to English fluency, you'll see and be able to chart your progress, which will help you be more confident. These nine tips will crack the code for you moving forward to English fluency. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I can't wait to talk to you next time. I'll see you then. You still there? You know what time it is. It's story time. Hey, I said it's story time. <laughs> All right. So for today's story time, I actually want to sing you a song and I'll tell you why. I was in class yesterday and I was teaching and I had a live review class. Once a month, I have a review class with the students and we were having a great time. And I met one of my students, hopefully he's watching Expedito. Expedito is 75 years old and he's amazing. So Expedito came on camera and we were having a good conversation. And in the midst of our conversation, Expedito told me that he enjoys singing. And he sang a little piece of a Frank Sinatra song and his voice was amazing. So Expedito, thank you so much for sharing your song with us. And now I just want to sing a little portion of a song. I hadn't sung this song in a long time. And a few weeks back, my sister spoke for an afternoon program at church. And prior to her speaking, we started singing old songs from the past. So I want to sing a piece of a song. It was sung when I was a child and even as I got older, we kept singing it. So it's called Father Abraham. It's a very active song. I won't stand up because I'm recording, but very simple song. It goes like this. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons have Father Abraham. I am one of them and so are you. 
So let's just praise the Lord right on Father Abraham have many sons you can join many sons have Father Abraham I am one of them and so are you so are you so let's all praise the Lord right arm left arm father abraham and the song continues going until you're marching and turning around so it's a great song for kids and we actually added some things as we got older we said had many sons and daughters <laughs> we added the and daughters so it was just a fun song singing growing up so when we sang it again a few weeks ago all of the adults were singing together in unison because we all loved this song back in the day Maybe there's a song you used to sing when you were a child and when you sing it now it kind of has a sense of nostalgia. You remember when you were a kid and how happy you felt singing that song. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I love you so much and remember this is your year to achieve your English goals.